Hello everyone. Welcome to Paradise. Today I will teach you how to check and perform any equipment alignment test in Caesar 2. So basically what is uh, equipment alignment test? It actually means during the installation of the video, the equipment uh, flange should uh, exactly match the piping flange or there are some tolerance which I will show you later. So for this purpose, uh, just uh, model a basic uh, equipment connection. So we are I just uh, model a simple anchor as the equipment connection. You can uh, see it here. It is the node 10 which is a simple anchor and just add some uh, routing and uh, just put some supports and for detail you can check out my previous videos where I have taught you how to do the all the stuffs in detail and our uh, layout is almost ready. Uh, but uh, the thing uh, we have to uh, put another anchor at the uh, end uh, end portion of the piping. I will uh, you will get it why I will tell you this. And so our model is almost ready. And uh, let us look at the tolerance. And our model is ready. And this is uh, the guideline is as per API RP686 and you can see it here here the vertical displacement horizontal displacement and parallelism values all are uh, mentioned you can pause and take a snapshot and we have to uh, limit our uh, displacement uh, within this uh, guideline and for that purpose uh, first run this file and uh, check the result so just put some more detail like insulation and insulation thickness you have to model it properly as much as possible uh, you can also input uh, all the piping which are above the 2 inch and here are the result and check the uh, sustained uh, displacement first okay let's check the expansion trace first and you can see it it is quite well within the value so no worries and let us sustain and restrain summary okay now your aim is to uh, minimize the loads for the sustain case as much as possible. So here the values are quite low so we can proceed further. So let's and another thing uh, while you achieve the quite low sustain, uh, sustain loads you just note the hanger tables here because hangers are included in our uh, file and if there is no hanger so you don't have to note any hanger table but here you have to so just note the hanger uh, <coughs> theoretical cold value and the spring rate specifically and if there are um, some uh, constant support hanger so there would be only hot load values and just note it and go back to the input okay now we will follow the next step and next step is to copy this file and just rename it as a alignment file and let's open the file <clears throat> and for the very fast you have to remove any anchor connection or displacement and so I just delete the restraint at node 10 and free the node
so as the very first step we have to free the anchor connection uh, and uh, free the node so just delete the restraint and if you put uh, if you have put some displacement just remove it and then specify all the hanger so i am just specifying at the spring rate and theoretical cold load and if there are some constant default you will get the values from the previous step and put it here to fully user defined hanger input so i am just putting the hanger inputs here and uh, do it very carefully and just put the exact value and while the hanger inputs are given and run the file and just uh, go into the load cases and just uh, we have to here make a few new load case and I am just showing you and here our first load case is WNC which is a no uh, no load content it is just the dead load of the pipe with no content and then WNC plus hanger WNC is useful where there is uh, no hanger in the model but I am just generally showing all the cases and here for the WNC plus H uh, just make the hanger stiffness rigid and add another load cases which is again the WNC plus H but in this case the hanger stiffness would be as designed and all the stress type would be sustained so here our load cases are ready you can see it uh, if you have any doubt just pause and uh, see it again and analyze the file and here you have to check the displacement value for the uh, cases if you have hanger in your model you just check the WNC plus H uh, cases and if you don't have hanger in your model just uh, check the WNC case so here as we have hanger in our model I am checking the WNC plus H cases and there are the uh, displacement values and node 10 and you have to check as I uh, mentioned in the earlier uh, as per the API RP686 guidelines you can use Excel for that purpose it is very easy and I am not showing it here just note the displacement value and check it but uh, what I guess from the values is that these values will uh, surpass the limit so we have to modify uh, our stress and in a general practice there are some uh, temporary supports uh, during the installations but I will show you how it works so let's go back to our model ok let's go back to our model and uh, go to the original file which is which includes the restraint at node 10 and just run and check the fast hanger displacement and uh, check the operating case and restraint summary and you can see the displacement is in the upward direction so if I just install a temporary support with plus y it would not uh, counter any load during the operating condition so just add a 
so just add a Y support at the very first hanger node. Okay, I am just putting a simple plus Y with uh, mu point one, and just check again the hanger table and. I would anticipate that there would be no change as the operating conditions are uh, not been encountered by the new support and so you can uh, note it again and compare the values and back to our piping input and open the palm uh, equipment alignment uh, file just a second Okay, let's go back to our input and open the uh, alignment file. And here, similarly, uh, I am just input uh, temporary support and run the file. And now, if you check the displacement value at the mentioned load cases, which is WNC plus H. Now you can see the displacement values at node 10 which is the equipment anchor is quite low and I guess these values are within the uh, certified limits and that will pass the API RP586 guideline you can see it here in the screen so that is the pump alignment edge which is a very necessary steps for the turbine and uh, pump installations specifically the uh, boiler fit pump installations so stay tuned for uh, more videos and thank you and happy new year